Grapple wire explosion was photographed from several positions on Christmas Island at varying distances from the explosion. This is a typical rear camera station. Conventional 35mm cameras are used, Vinton 300s to record fireball detail at a camera speed of 100 frames a second, and Camiflexes for normal 24 frames operation. Cameras received their final checking and were loaded the evening before the explosion. At A site, a forward position, cameras are protected by resin bonded fiberglass cowlings. One normal speed 35mm camera was used here, the remainder being high speed Eastman Kodaks and fast axes. The Valiant which will drop the weapon will also photograph the explosion. Two 16mm GSAP service cameras are mounted in the tail of the aircraft and will record the fireball and the early stages of the development of the stem as the aircraft turns and flies away from the target area. This Shackleton aircraft carries a cameraman with a 35mm Ariflex camera. It will orbit the target area at a considerable distance to photograph the burst from the air. Natural cloud did not obscure the view from the Shackleton and useful pictures were obtained of the initial stages and subsequent development. This record has not been filtered. Note how the detail has been lost in the fireball and in the rings. A further illustration of the Wilson cloud effect is visible in this condensation cloud which rises to obscure the top of the column. The sound of the explosion does not reach this rear camera station for some considerable time after the flash.
the cloud is still growing and spreading, but is now rising much more slowly. The record from a site has now become almost completely obscured by cloud and by smoke from fires in the forward area. 